let's move away from uh, the people who aren't the government and talk about the people who are actually running the country right now. And this change with the Attorney General, that he himself will have to sign off on any prosecution of journalists. You've seen the raids, you've seen the agreed turn-up time at Channel 2. I won't call that a raid. I think turning up to somebody's house and flicking through their undies might actually be a bit more of a raid than what Channel 2 thinks happened to them. But anyway, um, so the decision's well, been made... Well, they did go through all their computer files. At an agreed time. At an agreed time. Is that a raid? Yes. Oh, please. Of I, think, it was a raid. I think turning up at dawn and kicking in a door is a raid. And sitting there and going through all their computer That's files. That's gathering evidence. Raid. That's yeah, gathering hello? evidence. Oh, please, a raid. <laughs> Goodness me. The only reason it happened is because they didn't talk to them anymore. I'm sorry it'll upset some of your mates, but that's the truth. Don't start with the mates. I'm just telling you. Uh, anyway, so what do we think about this as a uh, solution to the political problem that's there at the moment? And by that, I don't mean... I don't think the public really cares, but I certainly know that the pressure being put by the media organisations and sort of uh, those paying attention to this sort of stuff seem to be building on the government. But, Corey, it, it feels like the government's found a smart way through this, which is, effectively, uh, unless the threshold is an absolute flaming tyre fire, the AG, regardless of their stripe, is not going to sign off on the... Uh, the uh, the hitting of journalists, but clearly they also don't want to create a law that says, well, we'll look the other way when you're in receipt of uh, stolen information. Paul, I, I suspect this is an elegant solution to a political problem, but I question myself why we need to have any second-guessing of the AFP in carrying out their duties. I just don't know that politicians should be saying whether it's right for the AFP to be doing... Um, what the AFP are meant to be doing, which is looking after the law of the land. See, there they are. That, look at that raid where they turned up, signed the visitor's oh, book and God then they sake, walked Jeff, in. And God forbid they had a gun on them because <laughs> they may well have had to police other crime at some point in the day. Oh, the poor dears with their live tweeting and giving bloody look, awards I for themselves. I am a great supporter of police of all stripes, but, you know, God forbid they might occasionally get it wrong or we should, we should have some checks and balances on it. Well, we do. But, but, but they're, they're, held, the... they're held to account for that, Janine. You where? shouldn't have to check and hold them the to account when they're Department making decisions of about matters of law. This sorry, elegant this solution idea. you talk about, let's just be clear, uh, this is at the prosecution stage, not at the raid stage. And you might say, oh, poof, raid. This serves to intimidate journalists. And I talked to Annika Smethurst recently. She is still very, very traumatised by what happened. So we're not even at the I... stage of prosecutions. What they do at this stage is to intimidate journalists, to intimidate whistleblowers. So this elegant solution is a long way down the track. There's a lot of other controls every, every, and things rubbish. that need to be looked the, at. The, the, the difficulty every, here is, is, every is very simple. Yeah, every yeah. political press secretary tries to intimidate journalists or, or <laughs> cajole them around. I get I get annoyed by all of this. Um, if if the police suspect there's a crime, they act. Correct. That is what they're there for. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Attorney General should approve them or anything else. The, the the job of the Australian Federal Police is to police federal law. If they if they suspect something's wrong, I don't care whether it's about this or any other federal law. If they think something's wrong, they go and have a look. Now. If we say, oh, you can't do that, yeah. then what are we saying about police investigations? We're saying, well, we only want you to have those when it's convenient. This one isn't convenient, so go away. You can't do it. They're not saying that. They're saying that they want to make sure that there is something there and these aren't just fishing expeditions. And to this date, we don't know that. But, 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 but isn't that the point of the police that they're supposed to, as part of a fishing expedition, work out if a crime no, is committed? you're meant to think there's a crime committed first, not go in, troll through all the computers, no, go think, through someone's underwear drawer think, to try no, and find if something. If there's a crime is, committed, what do you do? If there was you a crime committed... You go and get some evidence. I agree, but there's one oh. slight problem with this. In both cases, they waited over a year to do it. So this terrible crime that was so bad they had to send in the federal police took a year... So whatever really bad crime had been committed took them a year to well, get so around. So the statute of limitations is that... Uh, no, that, I'm uh, just that, saying... You, you don't investigate a crime that was a year crime, old. This heinous I crime took... Ago, mate. That's still <laughs> plenty of time. Yeah, I think they were, they were all right. Uh, maybe, maybe they were gathering evidence in that year. Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps they knew that, uh, yes, all of the, uh, the lawyers would be there. Couldn't and by the way... enough so they had to go through the knicker drawer. <laughs>